Right, Pirates, so it's Friday the 18th of uh, May 2018, about 7 o'clock, uh, 8 o'clock in the evening, and uh, anyway, we're here, it's a beautiful evening, but it hasn't been such a beautiful day for uh, Yacht uh, Indolo today, has it? Not the best, no. You uh, yeah. phoned me up at work today. Early in the morning, I thought, oh, Christ, what's wrong? Mm. And, uh, yeah, my fears were confirmed when I answered the phone. So uh, tell me what you had to say, Craigus. Uh, she'd uh, sat down funny, funny angle. That's the first noticeable thing. And uh, basically the rudder had turned by itself with the wheel locked and uh, gone at 90 degrees and sat on that banky wall that we don't like. So basically, the rudder, the weight of the boat has slid backwards as it's going down, moved the rudder all the way back. The rudder, yeah. It stopped on the wall and bent stuff, hasn't it, Craig? Yeah, bent the shaft inside underneath the bed. And where the rudder's gone too far, it's bent the top of it on the bottom of the boat, on the hull. So, not good. Not good. I'll go and show you the rudder first, before yeah. the light fades. And uh, then we're going to have a look inside. Let's go and have a look. Right, so, anyway, I'll give the camera to Craig. There's that bloody wall, by the way. That's the wall that the rudder stopped on, but I'll give the camera to Craig for two secs while I descend to the kayak of doom, which is, uh, as you can see, not even there, under mm -hmm. the boat. <clears throat> Excellent, right. Fall off here. Right, so anyway, here's the wall. Runs up behind us. It's more, it's more covered by mud there, but trust me, it's there. And uh, this rudder was bent 90 degrees to this wooden post here. Effectively, it stopped on there. It has bent the top of the rudder out where it was forced into that by sliding backwards, I suppose, in the mud. So, on the whole, not fucking good. We did say that uh, we didn't think it was going to be good here. We've been proven right, unfortunately. But uh, I just hope the propeller hasn't been uh, bent backwards. But let's try and get back out. Oh, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let's try this. <sighs> so, what's going to happen tomorrow then? Oh, tomorrow, right. So, the good news, well, the good news out of the bad news <laughs> is that now we are moving the boat tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, but we're going to climb... I'll climb down and uh, we'll show you the what's going on under here, shall we? Right then. So, uh, this is my cabin under which is shed loads of storage and all sorts of gear which you don't normally get to see. But anyway, let's go over here. And Craig can explain what's happened. Basically, where the, uh, the rudders turn this all the way around as far as it can up against this ram, so it can't go any further, but it still wants to, so it's pushed the whole thing from this shaft down the bottom. You can see that right down there. <laughs> Bent it from that leverage point. It's bent backwards. Up there. And also it has bent this ram mount. The bracket has pulled up this way. Just punched a bit more of a hole down in the corner here. And it's not knocked a bit of my bloody woodwork off the bit. Yeah, anyway, it's this bit of wood here. Is, right. 
There you go. <laughs> it's now off. So. so she was jammed at first. I'd uh, had a hand and we just made sure it turned all right. And then I've attached a temporary bit of wire there to stop it from going any more than 30 odd degrees. Beef that up with some chain. Yeah, we got lots of chain. Mm, lots of chain. Yes, so yeah. there you go. One of those <coughs> unfortunate things. I well, know it is a shame, but we need to get it sorted because currently, yeah. me and Mr. Paul Smith, who I've been working with, um, we've been organising maybe going to Cow's Week. Got some plans. It's uh, he's done all this round the island malarkey before and. He's another one like Craig, another, he's an agricultural engineer and proper little farm boy. Right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, anyway, he's done a load of it before and he was, he likes looking at all the harbour stuff and all that, so hopefully we'll get to go and do something this summer. Mm, that'd be nice. That'd be good. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, but anyway, first things first, eh? Yeah. But, so how do you propose we're going to fix this then? Um, we can bend the top of it here with a port of power, pressing off to the side of the boat. Yeah. Lever it off. Having a nice solid boat. Yeah. Yeah, because what we reckon that that could have yeah pushed the rudder up through the bottom of the fucking boat and sunk us. Basically, yeah. Can't be having that, can we? Right. So no. <laughs> it's just, it's just lucky it's a nice, good old ship. Yeah. Solid. Exactly. So yeah, we'll push off the side of that, straighten that one, uh, and do something with a rudder, big hammer or something. Yeah, I like a big hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, just the one. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Excellent, well, Excellent. but yeah, a bit of a shit, so uh, mm. we'll have to drink some rum, won't we, Craig? Yes, definitely. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it a pirate's life, Craig? It's a pirate's life for me. Ah.